Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how you can quickly swap out a cut inside of your timeline for another clip in your media pool using the replace clip function. So this is a bit of a time saver, especially if you're going to be making a video where there are lots of fast cuts and you just don't like how it looks in one place. So you want to swap that for something different. So let's go ahead and take this stock clip in my timeline and I'm going to make a few cuts so that we can replace specific times for different clips in our media pool. So use B or click here to go into blade edit mode tool and I'll make one cut at the four second period and then one at eight seconds. So right there with zero extra frames. Now what we need to do is go up to the media pool and select the new clip that we want to replace. Let's say this little cut right here. So I'm gonna double click on this video and then find the period where you want the start here of our cut to match up and then just set it in point. So let's just kind of arbitrarily go about here. And then I'm going to hit I on my keyboard to set an endpoint. If you prefer to use the menu, you can go up to mark and then choose mark in. So now when I select this cut in the timeline and I hit the replace clip function, it's going to replace it with the clip I have selected up here. And I'll double click to make sure that's up there with the clip in the timeline. So let's go ahead and hit replace clip now with all of that selected. And we can see that in the timeline, it replaced it from that point forward. Now it didn't replace everything and we'll hit control Z to go back and fix that uh, because there simply wasn't enough extra footage from the stock clip. So let's go back up to the clip and select a new endpoint one with enough time remaining to completely replace the clip. And then let's do the replace clip function. So this time it replaces everything because there's actually enough footage between the end point and the end of the video. So just like that, we can go back here and hit play and we can see that the clip has been completely replaced with the same timing and the timeline. So now if we want to swap this last bit out for another clip, or maybe we actually want another cut. So we'll come back to the sole clip at the very end. But here, let's go choose another clip from our media pool. I'll set an end point for where I want this clip to replace here. Hit I and then click on replace clip in the timeline and then go ahead and select this and click replace clip. Okay, so now we have the people clip swapped into the timeline. So we can go ahead a little bit back in the timeline, hit play and just test that out. So just with a few button clicks, we're able to replace what's gonna show at specific periods of time in our timeline. And we would be able to keep repeating this process until we get it to look just right. So if the clip that you swapped in doesn't look good enough, you can keep going and just try that out with other clips as well. So in a nutshell, that is the replace clip function in DaVinci Resolve. So just wanted to quickly show that tip for anyone who didn't already know, because I've been finding it extremely useful lately. Aside from that, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching to the end, and I will see all of you in my future video content.